Hi guys, Chris Buckler back here with the State Agent today. Now I'm joined by Christian Scandora, glad I got that right, who ha- is the gaffer of Vault EA and it's a really sexy bit of kit. But Christian, we're not here to talk about that. We're, talk- we're here to talk about three tips. I know, right? Um, whether you're an agent in Birmingham, Belfast, Bognor Regis, all the wisdom you picked up in the uh, in Australia are now here. Give us, some, give us a couple of tips. Give us some gold. Oh, there's so many. I mean, one of my main ones, uh, I'm an ex-agent. I was an agent in England, Spain. That was great. Australia. Uh, I was over there for 10 years before I moved into our previous product uh, over there. Um, as an agent, for me, it's all about automation. You know, there's so many things we forget about, you know, as a negotiator, as a valuer, we lose sight of things. So for me, using a system like Vault, uh, I would have automation around all my, my business getters. So when I complete on a property, I know I'm going to forget about them in a few years. So I, I have an automation kick in that will remind me in a day's time to give them a call, congratulate them, take a bottle of bubbly round. Three weeks later, an auto email can go out looking like it's from me saying, hey, John, the person who bought the home, you know, how's it gone? First three weeks in your property. And then every year today, how about this? An SMS goes out or an email, whatever you want, to John saying, hey, John, it's been a year since I sold you a home. Hope all is okay. Regards, Christian. Bam, it goes. It just tells me I've sent it on my daily task list, but it's automation. Day, uh, year two, year three, and onwards. And it's absolute gold dust. You know, you have it around valuation follow-ups. You know, I mean, it, for me, I'd have a two-year Val follow-up because in a twisted way, I, want, I almost want them to make, take longer to make a decision because in those first few weeks, I'm vying for the business with several other people. Nobody needs reminding uh, to do those, you know, to follow them up. If someone takes 18 months to make a decision, almost guaranteed my competitors, they've lost sight of them. Whereas I'm getting a nice reminder or an auto email goes out, I'm getting that business. So massive fan of automation. It's really easy with our system to set up and it brings in the, the business, which, you know, stock on the ground is pretty tough at the moment. Christian, automation in processes, systems, tools, models, automation, I'm all about. So you've got me there. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Hit me with your second tip. Yeah, I, I guess um, uh, streamlining, uh, streamlining a business, you know, uh, we see it all the time. Uh, people have so many products, so many systems in place. Uh, you know, they're double. They're all time poor in an office. They're double handling, triple handling, quadruple handling. They're entering data into different systems, you know. And yes, there might be some integrations there, but they can be a little bit, you know, shoddy or, or don't save you much time. Whereas again, talking about Vault, I guess, we, you can do everything through this one web-based system. Sales, lettings, front end, property management, your accounts, it does your maintenance. So the tenant can log in and log maintenance issues come through to you. You can generate work orders, fantastic. Uh, we, we capture inquiries from all the portals. You can set up autoresponders so that when they do that, they get an auto response. So again, we're eliminating another third party there. Um, we have print, obviously print collateral, e-marketing, social media marketing, all at the click of a button without mentioning names, eliminating another uh, third party there. So people are coming on board with us. They're saving money because they're streamlining through one one system um but they're also saving a lot of time so i like the plug i like the fact you're getting it in no matter um, what system you're using streamline um, and, and, and link to that automation that we mentioned earlier makes yeah. sense yeah uh, hit, hit us with you one quick top tip to- just you know it don't spend too much time on whatever system you use you want that you want that face to face you know that's the danger is people are spending too long in front of a computer people like me who are uh, two finger typists my set my my i guess my skills my strong area is i'm a salesperson i'm a people person like most negotiators valuers and the problem is with whatever system you use you do tend to fall into data entry things taking too long and i'm not spending those money producing moments face to face with someone which is where i should be so really any system not a plug any system should be about freeing up the time for that person to do those things that they do well so i guess that would be my third tip no i love that the whole leverage piece right you don't know yeah behind your desk love it so okay Correct. Fine. so many do it so many do it I'm going to ask you, we've got about 38 seconds left, so I'm going to put you on the spot, Christian. Oh, my God. What traits do Australian agents, who are arguably better, I'm not saying I agree with that, but some people might, than British agents, and what can we learn from our Aussie cousins? Um, You know, one of the main things they get is vendor-paid advertising. I don't think we'll ever have that luxury, you know, so there's a lot of marketing in the property and, you know, managing to get some, some very often all the advertising money out of the vendor, but they are a lot more forward thinking, you know, they are, they are using technology to their advantage, um, you know, and embracing what's out there. Um, you know, I, they do use technology to their advantage and very forward thinking. I think we've got a little way to go in the UK yet, 
but the tools are there now. So I think it's um, it's a good time. Thank you. Listen, right on the money. I really oh. appreciate it. Christian, from everyone here at Estate Agent today, we wish you guys the best of luck and we'll definitely catch up soon. That's awesome. Thanks, Chris. Appreciate Cheers. your time.